We make a strong acidic water, and the strong acidic water is going to come through this gray hose. Now, this water, imagine this makes a, a, a pH with, that's 2.5. Now, germs and bacteria cannot survive in this environment. As a matter of fact, this water can kill E. coli and salmonella in about 30 seconds. Okay. Beyond that, this water is also very good to apply externally. In the event that you have something like eczema or psoriasis or atopical dermatitis, this water is absolutely awesome to put on your skin topically. Some other applications might be to brush your teeth with and gargle with. Many germs and bacteria actually start in your mouth. This water is phenomenal to gargle with and to brush your teeth. Beyond that, also in the event that you should burn yourself, this water is absolutely incredible if you should burn yourself. And we've got countless stories on burn situations in the few short months that we've been around us. And keep in mind, at the beginning of, of the presentation, we talked about all the different hospitals and medical centers throughout Japan that are using this technology and part of their interest was in the strong acid water because of its amazing disinfectant properties. Now as that water is traveling through the top of this device, what's coming through, I mean through the secondary hose, what's coming through the top of this device is what we refer to as strong Kangen water or strong alkaline water that has a pH of 11.5. Now this water has amazing cleansing or detergent like properties. Imagine a water that can actually remove blood from clothing or stains from carpeting. Imagine a water that can remove herbicides, pesticides, insecticides from produce. So not only will your produce taste much better, but in the grand scheme of things, it's actually going to last you much longer. Now, in terms of maintenance, let me just explain it to you. It's very simple here. This filter, on average, is good for about 3,000 gallons. In terms of maintenance or cost, replacement cost, you're looking at approximately $100. Now, beyond that, and by the way, the built-in microprocessor will let you know when it's time to replace this filter. Beyond that, about every six months, what you want to do is you want to take out this cartridge here, the filter, and put it, put a cleaning cartridge inside and the purpose of that cleaning cartridge is to clean the mineral deposits off of this engine. Okay, Think of this like changing oil on your car. Now if you were to do that on average about every six months, keep in mind the minimum life expectancy of this machine is 15 years. It carries with it a five year bumper to bumper warranty and there's also an unconditional satisfaction money back guarantee. And since I'm on, the, uh, on this engine here, this is really where Enagic separates itself from the competition. Because in terms of making the quality of the water, the greater water that you want for you and your family, you want the surface area to be as large as possible because the more surface area there is, in other words, as the water travels across these seven big old plates, it's going to make the best grade of water out of any ionizer in the marketplace. And this again, this is where our product separates itself from the competition. Now, enough said about the machine itself. What we're going to do is we're going to move to the most exciting part of the presentation, and that's an actual demonstration. And I'm going to take you through a demonstration that I saw about nine months ago, very similar to what I saw about nine months ago. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a very popular soft drink. And the reason that we use this clear Sprite is that so that way you can see the reaction that we're going to have with this pH testing solution. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour some Sprite in here as so. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take also a very popular soft drink. And again, we use a clear liquid so that way you can see what, how this thing tests out. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a product that Coca-Cola makes. This is a reverse osmosis water and you'll want to pay attention to what happens as we test this water. And alongside Dasani is its counterpart made by Pepsi, which is Aquafina. Again, this is a reverse osmosis water. And we're not here to just pick on Aquafina or, or, or Dasani. This actually applies to any reverse osmosis water. Right next to it, we've got our Kangen water, which is the 9.5. And this is the water that we're going to be drinking. And over here on the end is the tap water here. Okay. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this pH testing solution and we're going to put four drops in each of these liquids and what we're looking to do is match some colors here. Okay, and again, we want to be on the alkaline side, meaning that we're looking for a dark blue or a purple color instead of an orange or a yellow. So let's just go ahead and see what happens. So we're going to put four drops in each. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. And now let's just go ahead and give each of these a stir and let's just look and see what happens. And here's our Sprite, here's our Gatorade, here's Dasani, here's Aquafina, here's a Kangen water, and here's your tap water. Now, as you can see, the Sprite and the, Dasan and the Gatorade, rather, they're on the orange side. And this is pretty much as acidic as you can get. Alongside of it are Dasani and Aquafina, your reverse osmosis waters. And as we can see here, they're also yellow, meaning that they are acidic. The reason that they're acidic is reverse osmosis water actually pulls out everything out of the water, including the minerals. And when you don't have minerals in the water, you're going to get an acidic water. As a matter of fact, the Japanese refer to reverse osmosis water as dead water. And along here, you can see our Kangen water, and it's not because of the bottle here. As you can see, it's the bright purple that we're looking for, and this is the 9.5. This is what you're looking for. This is what you want to hydrate your body with. And right now, Next to it is your tap water, and by federal mandates, most municipal waters are on the neutral side, but before you get too excited, keep in mind, they use lye, which is something that's very caustic, to bring the water from a very acidic state to a neutral state. Now that's just half of the equation. What we want to do now is we want to talk about that oxidation reduction potential characteristic of these liquids that we talked about in, in our earlier presentation. So what we've got here is a meter that's just designed to kind of give us a benchmark in terms of where these liquids actually you know, end up on the scale. And also keep in mind, the higher the oxidation reduction potential number is on the positive side, the more oxidizing effect that liquid will have. Now on the flip side, if there's a negative number, the higher that negative number, the more anti-aging, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory properties that water will have. So let's go ahead and test these liquids and just see what happens. Now, as, as you can see, what we're doing is the first thing that we're testing here is the Sprite, and you can see the number is approaching 400 on the positive side, which means it has a very oxidizing effect on you. Now, I do a lot of work with naturopathic doctors and holistic doctors, and they all really, really caution the overconsumption of soda. Right next to the Sprite, as you can see, is the Gatorade. And what we're going to do here is we're going to check and see what the ORP value of Gatorade is. And as you can see, it's well over 400. Now, next to Gatorade is our Dasani. And keep in mind, this is a reverse osmosis water. And as you can see, this liquid also is right in the 400 range. And again, it's positive. And let's just see what happens with Aquafina. And again, here, we're right in the 400 range. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually come back to the Kangen water at the end, but I just want you to see where your tap water typically is. And the tap water also is right in the upper 300s, just under 400, as you can all see. Now, the last liquid that we're going to test here is our Kangen water. And as you can see, of all the liquids that we've tested here, this is the only liquid that has a negative oxidation reduction potential. Uh, value and as you can see here it's right about a negative 300 and that's very very important as a matter of fact if you remember the picture from Mr. Oshiro and how young he looks for his age, my belief is, is that he does that because of this property of the water. The negative oxidation characteristic potential of this water is absolutely crucial. Now, what we want to do is also show you something very interesting. What we're going to do here is we're going to show you is instead of using drugs or over-the-counter medications to neutralize acid, keep in mind, we're looking for a dark blue or a purple color. I'm going to show you something very very interesting with our Kangen water. And we're going to start here 
with the municipal water. And as you can see here, this is a neutral water, but just by pouring a little bit out of Kangen water on top of here, as you can see, we just neutralized that or we've taken that water